So we talked last time about the transition uh, phase change, and uh, we also talked about the diagram, the PT diagram, pressure temperature diagram, and the vapor pressure curve. Well, in general, you can describe a surface, okay? And this is a thermodynamic surface. You have to almost show it visually. It's hard for me to uh, sketch this. It is not a volume. This is for a substance that expands on freezing, just like water. You can just think of this as water. At a particular temperature and pressure, you could be right here, right at that point on line K. They're showing line K. And that would be a condition of the substance. Okay. Uh, the, the height measured upward, because the pressure is in the Z axis, Okay, and the temperature would be this at this value. Maybe it's that closer to that mark right there for that temperature. And then you could see the volume would be at that value. So you get some pressure, temperature, volume values at that point. Now, before I leave this point and go to any other point, think of a surface. It's a surface. So I could go to a point above that surface but water won't exist in equilibrium at that point. It will not exist at this pressure, higher pressure, at that temperature and volume. It won't. Nor will it exist at a lower pressure at that temperature and volume. It's not on the surface. A lot of times we'll put a specific volume, so that volume is an intensive property, so three intensive properties. Any two fix the state. So maybe knowing V and T, I then can get P. But I can only get one value of P, not a range of P's. So it is a truly a surface. So let's identify the three single phase regions uh, on this PVT surface. You have the gas region or vapor region. You see this becomes more of an ideal gas. Actually, ideal gas is up in here. This is a, a vapor region all in there. So gaseous state or vapor state. Okay, then you have a liquid region and then you have a solid region. Okay, describe what that liquid region looks like. Is it, it's a very steep surface going up. In this region, back in here, this dashed line, all in there, it's all going up. What does that physically mean when it's so steep? It means that uh, if I'm at a particular temperature and a particular specific volume, okay, if I try to compress it, I, try, I increase the pressure, it really doesn't change the specific volume any. It's liquid water. It's very incompressible. So the pressure will scoot right on up there very fast for small changes in specific volume. What does the solid look like? Okay, well, the solid is this region here. And it's also extremely steep surface. That means as I try to decrease its volume, the pressure goes way up. It's incompressible. Solids are very incompressible. So those are our three phases, our vapor or gas, liquid, and solid states or phases. Where are some two-phase regions? The easiest one to identify, we see our dome. That's a line of saturated liquid. This is the line of saturated vapor. It actually goes on down. But in this region right in here, from the triple line, saturated liquid, saturated vapor, that's all a two-phase region. And what's the fluid substance? It's liquid vapor. And anywhere in there, it can be in equilibrium. That's one of the two-phase regions. There's two other two-phase regions, one where liquid and solid are in equilibrium. What, where is that surface? It's very hard to see on this diagram. Can you see that surface where liquid and solid are in two-phase equilibrium? It's tucked right in here. And you're, you're seeing the back side of it. Saturated liquid line where it's going to change to solid and a saturated solid where it's going to begin to melt. 
surface actually tilts towards you if you think about it that way. If I'm in a solid, okay, and I start to warm it up, think about I'm here, I'm very cold, I'm below the freezing point, I'm at a constant pressure, I start to warm it up. I'll come along the surface of that solid, increasing its temperature, until I get to a point where if I try to warm it up, the temperature isn't going to change anymore. It's going to wrap around that corner and start to go that way on the green surface, doing what? Melting, changing into liquid at constant temperature. So then it would go, maybe I should clean this up some, this way to back that way. And then it would all be melted. It would be liquid. And at constant pressure, then maybe I can continue to go out and heat up the liquid. That's a hard surface to see, that two-phase solid liquid surface. Where is the other two-phase region on this uh, surface, thermodynamic? Typically, this is a PVT surface. Well, it's down here. It's easier to see. It's a solid vapor. It's below the triple line, and you have a saturated solid line, saturated vapor line. And there you go. That's the other two-phase region. And there is one place where three phases can coexist. And where is that? The triple, triple line, and it goes right in here. So we have areas of the surface for single phase, areas of the surface that are two-phase, and then an area of a surface which is really a line in uh, three-phase equilibrium. Okay. Now, somebody says, uh, what, is, what is this surface right up in here? See what I'm trying to show? What is that surface? And what is this gray shaded surface? And what is this gray shaded surface? They had to truncate the diagram somewhere, and so they, they stopped it at a particular value of specific volume, they could, you could continue to go and you just get more vapor, those lines would extend. It's not a surface of the diagram, it's just a truncation, it's a stopping point, an edge, a boundary. Up here, they just stopped it at that pressure. You could continue to, to have liquid and increase its pressure, increase its pressure, increase its pressure, but they stopped it. And then over here, the same with temperature, they stopped it at some temperature and didn't continue it down all the way. Okay? Well, if you take a look at that, why, well, they truncated them. What do you, why, didn't they shade, why didn't they shade the top? Why did they shade only this one and this one? Here's your first chance. You can write a letter to the editor and suggest they uh, change this diagram. Editorial. Sure. I think it could easily be shaded. Right? I mean, do you see any reason that it's not shaded? I don't. Anyway, small part. Ready to go on to dead help? PVT surface? Now you take and project in 2D. This is a familiar diagram. It's the pressure on the y-axis, temperature on the x. In this line right here, the vapor pressure curve, we have what point? Critical point. Right there is the critical point on the surface. Here's the triple point. It's a line in that projection. It's a line on the surface on the projection. It's just looking at it that way. It's a, it's a 2D surface. 2D it's a, you just have lines, so you have the liquid region, the solid region, the vapor region, the triple point. This is a two-phase between the solid vapor, solid liquid, liquid vapor. See how they take that surface and get a projection? And then you can also look at the projection on a PV. Look at it that way. You've looked at it that way. When you look at it that way, you get the pressure volume curve. Here, there's a lot of detail 
uh, is what you're trying to show is that solid liquid, solid only, liquid only phase, and then down in here below the triple line, uh, you get the solid vapor two phase region, etc. Okay. Uh, often, what we do is we're interested in a PV diagram, and we'll just sketch it like this. Somewhat steep right in here, up to the critical point. We don't show the triple. It's down here somewhere. Often we're working above it. And uh, you have the saturated liquid, saturated vapor, and two-phase. As often we, we abbreviate that PV diagram and don't show all the detail. 